Hello, Nurse Tim here. I want to share with you for a moment what I call bringing clinical to class to develop clinical judgment. Let me explain for just a moment. As National Council, the, the people that, that run and manage and own the NCLEX, as they talk about next gen, next generation NCLEX, um, they talk a lot about clinical judgment and they describe it like this. Critical thinking is the processing, the, the mental processing. It's kind of the problem solving. Clinical judgment is the doing. Clinical judgment means that you're doing something with that critical thinking. And, and, and they realize that uh, our students cannot stop at critical thinking. Our students can't stop at that problem solving. And so when we're in class, when we're in lecture and we're putting up the PowerPoint slides or we're talking through a case study, um, we've got to be careful that we don't stop just at that mental processing. So I try to find clinical tools that allow me to bring the clinical experience into the classroom so that the students can do that clinical judgment, that clinical judgment instead of critical thinking. They, they can take that critical thinking to the next level and do something with the information. I'm going to show you one um, activity that I call evidence-based practice on the fly. And the reason I love this activity is because it's so simple, you can do it tomorrow, but at the same time, it gets the students to that doing part. And so um, I'm gonna turn you, if you don't mind for a moment, I'm gonna turn you into uh, Fundamentals Nursing students. You're in your fourth week of the program. You're in your fourth week of Fundamentals of Nursing, Foundations of Nursing. I'm gonna turn you into those students and I'm gonna walk you through a strategy where you can start to infuse clinical judgment, yes, even in the fourth week of nursing class. And I've got my iPad here. I'm sharing it with you here on the screen. I want you to uh, uh, be able to see exactly what I'm talking about here. So, all right, are you ready? Students, welcome to the fourth week of Fundamentals. Congratulations that you're even here. I know many of you had a lot of difficulty getting into this program. It's a tough program to get into. And so, congratulations that you're sitting here now. We have been working on a number of different concepts over the past four weeks. It's been a busy four weeks. I want now to take you to clinical with a couple of these concepts. We've been talking about patients who are at risk for infection. And so what I want you to do, you'll, you'll remember that we had you buy some of your books um, in the paper book or put them on your laptop. And then there were a few books, uh, your, your, your clinical companion, your drug guide, your, your med dictionary that we had you put on your device, your phone, your tablet, whatever that, that mobile device is that you're going to be taking. And, and so, so you have those three books on your device, and we had you buy them in Skyscape just because we could pick the, device, the, the books. We could tell you which books and just set it up to where you can easily get to them. So now uh, everybody get your Skyscape open. Everybody got that open on their phones? Good, good. All right, now what I want you to do, we're gonna go into our clinical companion, and this is really important, students, um, because we're going to expect you to do this every day of clinical. I realize in many of your clinical situations, you cannot have your phone out. This means that you're gonna to have to take a break, go back to the nurse's uh, break room, go to your locker, pull out your phone, and do this type of activity in clinical as in class. Uh, I prefer you to do it two to three people per device, not just you and your device, okay? Because I want you talking to your friends. I want you connecting with your, uh, the other students on this clinical judgment piece. Can everybody say clinical judgment with me? Good. Clinical judgment. This is what we're going for. We want you to do something clinically with this information, uh, with what you're learning, with your experiences. So, You'll notice here in the uh, top part of the screen, um, there's, clin there's your clinical companion. If you go ahead and open that, go right ahead and open that. Now, um, we're going to look for uh, a disease called rheumatoid arthritis. So type in A-R-T-H-R-I-T-I-S, arthritis. Tim cannot spell. There we go. All right. And we tap the arthritis. Look for rheumatoid. Do you see that right there in the middle of your screen? All right. Now, this, this is rheumatoid arthritis. And the reason that I'm having you look through this monograph on rheumatoid arthritis with this tool that you're going to have in clinical, the reason we're doing this is because I happen to know in the nursing home, in the long-term care facilities where you guys are headed in four weeks, you start your clinicals. 
a lot of patients with rheumatoid arthritis. So I want to make class time feel like clinical time. All right. So, um, so looking through this monograph with your two or three friends, I'm going to give you just a few minutes here. You guys are going to have to look quickly. I want you to pick out three things that you think are most important for the nurse to know, understand, uh, uh, have access to when they're caring for their patient. And by three things, I mean like three bullets, three sentences, not three paragraphs, because you can't remember that quickly and you can't access that quickly. Remember in clinical, we have to use our clinical judgment quickly, okay? And so I'm gonna just give you maybe five, 10 minutes to do that, go right ahead. All right, your 10 minutes is up. Now, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, um, Students, when you're caring for a patient, you can never look at one page in one book. Patients are too complex, all right? And we're going to start building that into you. We call this multilogical thinking. Don't worry about that crazy word. But for clinical judgment, everybody say clinical judgment. Good. For clinical judgment, you're going to need to look at multiple resources, multiple pages, and pull it all together quickly in order to effectively care for your patient. That's just part of evidence-based practice especially evidence-based practice on the fly. All right, so down on the bottom right-hand corner is that little compass. If you click on that, there's a smart link. It's that little yellow chain link. Um, tap that, open that, because what this does is it clinically looks at all the other books on your device and it, and it says, hey, you know, what's going on uh, here? So we went from, from our clinical companion that goes with our, our Iggy Med Surge. We're now going into our drug guide, tap on that, and it's listing all the medications that may be associated with impact somehow uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And many of your patients are going to be on many of these medications because rheumatoid arthritis is so prevalent. It's a, it's a chronic disease. It shows up a lot. And so if you scroll down to the letter M, we're gonna to go to a medication called methylprednisolone. And this does tend to show up in our patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Now I want you to do the same thing with this monograph, okay? In this monograph, I want you and your buddy to, to, to find three things, all right? You and your partner to find three things that you think are most important. Remember, our focus this week and last week has been patients who are at risk for infection. Patients are at risk for, for infection for many different reasons. Many times it's the disease process, like rheumatoid arthritis, and many times it's the medications that they have to take for these diseases, like methylprednisolone. So I want you to kind of have that as your frame. I'm gonna give you another 10 minutes, then we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of get together. I'm gonna to put you together in, in, in pairs of pairs, and you guys are gonna talk about what you found, what you think is a priority. At faculty, welcome back, you're no longer students. I can't tell you how important this strategy is. We need to start early helping the students prioritize information. You can't just say what's important about methylprednisolone to someone who knows nothing about methylprednisolone. You have to give them goals, you have to, you have to frame it out, make it clinically relevant, because we want to start to build habits of prioritization, habits of clinical judgment. And, and I get it, these students, these students in their fourth week of fundamentals, many of them have not had patho, they don't know what rheumatoid arthritis is. Many of them have not had pharmacology, they don't know what methylprednisolone is. But let me ask you a question. Do we still let them go to clinical? Do we still let them go to clinical and take care of a diabetes patient even though they have not had diabetes in patho, in med surge, in whatever. So as you think about this, I really encourage you to consider how you can, um, you can start to, to, to have your students look at what they're learning in lecture from a clinical perspective. This is so vital for clinical judgment. I'm Tim Bristol. I thank you for spending this part of your day with me and I hope you'll make it a great day. Bye for now.